I'm here to brief you about all the courses that we offer at TechSparks. So we focus on helping the children to be a young programmer. So we really focus on creating young programmers. We focus on 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th graders. We have students of standard 6th who are actually learning C, C++, Java. So we have basically broken the entire course, be it C language or C++ or Java or Python into three parts. One is beginner, intermediate and then professional. So in the beginner program, we are focusing on the very, very simple programming like sequential programming. We just introduce them to what is a flowchart, what is an algorithm and then get into simple programs like addition of two numbers, subtraction of two numbers, simulate a simple calculator, area of a circle, area of a triangle and uh, calculate simple interest, calculate compound interest. And then once they are familiar with how to create a simple program, we just move to the next module, module two, which is focusing purely on branching statements like if, if else, if else if and switch case. We help them to create few programs like check if the given number is a positive or a negative number, check if the given number is even or odd. So basically based on a condition they will have to execute one of the uh, statement. So once they are familiar with if, if else, if else if and the switch case, we just move to the next module, module 3 which is basically introducing them to looping constructs. In looping constructs, we cover up for while and do while. We first teach them how, what is the syntax, then teach them the flowchart and then we start teaching them the program. So programs like uh, print first five natural numbers, first n natural numbers, print even numbers from one to n. These basic programs, nearly 40 programs have been taught in this. So we also at the end of every class, we ask the students to practice it on the computer so that they are very familiar with the uh, integrated development environment that we use. Uh, so basically we use uh, an environment called as BlueJ. So BlueJ is basically an integrated development environment which is used across the world by the student community. Unlike Eclipse and NetBeans which has sophisticated features for industry development, so I would always prefer to use a BlueJ environment by a student. So we help the students to do module 1, module 2, module 3, which is approximately 80 to 100 programs in BlueJ so that they get a feel of what is a syntax error, what is a logical error, what is an exception. So they will be literally seeing all the mistakes and they'll be fixing it. At the end of this course, if the students are really doing well, we give them a project on this itself, but using switch case, they actually write a list of functionalities, around lit literally 30 functionalities, and it's a six hour project. This is the entire course. So this I have bracketed into beginners. Java, beginner course, module one, module two, and module three. TechSparks is highly committed in providing corporate level training to school and college students in math and comp related subjects by extensive use of smart technologies. We help them to have crystal clear understanding in fundamentals and perform extraordinarily in their academics. This is Sarvanan, the Managing Director of TechSparks Technology Training School.